You got my wedding invitation, right? Please reply that you're not coming. I don't want you at my wedding. What are you talking about? You sent me an invitation. I sent it because I had to. I announced my marriage at the reunion the other day. I told everyone that I would invite all my classmates. That's why I had no choice but to send you an invitation. But if everyone's going, I'll be the only one not there. We don't need an ugly bitch like you there. You're going to make it worse anyways. You shouldn't come to my wedding just like you didn't attend the graduation. What? I never thought you would go home that day. If you're there, it's going to ruin the whole atmosphere. That's why I whispered to you that you should go home. I never thought you would just go home. I still remember that day. I was so sad. Because I didn't know why you would say such things. My friends told me I shouldn't worry, but I cried home. You look better now. But you're still ugly, even with makeup on. And you work at a convenience store. That's a perfect job for an ugly bitch like you. What? I overheard the conversation. You're working at a convenience store. Think about your age. You're not worthy enough to come to my wedding. I won the beauty contest and I was the prettiest girl in school. I haven't changed, but so haven't you. You still look down at people. I'm not doing it because I want to. You're just living a lower life than me. Anyways, don't come to my wedding. I'll tell everyone you have to work. Owner, is it true that you're going to miss my daughter's wedding? I saw you had the day off. I already had some plans in advance. That's why I can't go. Oh, really? Is there any way you can change your plans? I wish you will attend the wedding. What? My daughter Emma said that she would invite all her classmates. I'm sure she will be happy if all her classmates are there. Is there any way you can change your plans? You might think I take care of my daughter too much. But I hope she has an amazing wedding that she won't forget. I can tell you were very kind since you care about your daughter. It'll be fine. Even though we were classmates, we weren't too close. I don't think she would care if I'm not there. Don't say that, Olivia. Even my husband. He wants to say hello to you because you take good care of me. So I want you to at the wedding. I never thought you would beg me. You always help me when I have to change my shift. It's hard to say no to you. Exactly. I'm doing my best so you can do me a favor. If you can't stay, just come by and say hello. I want everyone to see how beautiful my daughter is going to look on her wedding day. Well then, is it really okay to just swing by for a little bit? I'll say hello to both you and your husband, and then I will leave. That's totally fine. I'm so happy. It's weird being able to see you at my daughter's wedding. Anyways, I'll wait for you on the wedding day as the bride's mother. Why are you here, you ugly bitch? I didn't invite you. Get the hell out of here. I was about to leave anyway. How can you be so mean? You talk me and push me to the pool. What does it mean? It was self-defense. How is that self-defense? You came to destroy my wedding, so I took care of it beforehand. If I see a terrorist, I'm going to stop their plans immediately. It's normal. Are you calling me a terrorist? And why would I destroy your wedding? I wouldn't come here for that. Stop talking shit, you terrorist! I told you not to come to my wedding beforehand. But you ended up coming to my wedding. I'm sure you came to destroy it. I bet you were sad that I made fun of you working at a convenience store. That's why you came to destroy my wedding. It's something an ugly bitch like you would do. Why would I do that? I just came here to celebrate. 
I know that you hate me. So I was going to just swing by and leave. An ugly bitch like you was going to celebrate me? I don't want someone like you to celebrate me. How dare you do something like that? You're annoying. How can you say that? You're being a little harsh. I know that you hated me. But how can you disrespect people like that? Huh? Are you going to lecture me as a convenience store staff? I'm going to marry an elite man. I'm going to live in a very expensive condo as a housewife. How the fuck can you lecture me? You really look down on me. I guess there's nothing I can do. I'm glad you finally understand. Anyways, get the hell out of here. I don't care if you're still soaking wet. My wedding is going to start soon, so I want you out by then. I will go home. But before that, can I borrow a towel? I don't think I can even get a cab like this. Oh my god! You're trying to steal my towel as well! What are you talking about? Oh, I finally understand! You came to my wedding to have a nice meal! I bet you always eat disgusting convenience store food, so you wanted to eat something a little bit better. What the fuck? But I'm sorry. There is no food here that you can eat. So please, can you leave? That's enough. I can't believe you're calling me a beggar. What's up with that attitude? I told you not to come, but you're the one that appeared. Don't you swing by. There is no seat or food for you. I understand. I'm leaving. Get the hell out of here right now! I told you not to come in the first place. How dare you bother me? You should just eat shitty food. Then mom will leave too. What? I love my part-time job and I love the convenience store food. I'm so sorry for being such an embarrassing mom. Mom? People have different values. So I don't care if you disrespect people or look people down. I won't say anything to you. But how can you push someone into the pool? I can't forgive that. Wait a minute! Are you my mom? Why are you texting through Olivia's phone? I couldn't stand it, so I took over Olivia's phone. I never thought my daughter was saying such horrible things to other people. I am so embarrassed. What the fuck? I saw it with my own two eyes. I saw you push the owner into the pool. I have no idea what was going on in the beginning. Wait a minute, Mom! Why are you calling Olivia the owner? Why are you running up to Olivia? Why do you call her like that? Because she's the owner of the convenience store I work part-time. Even though she might be my daughter's classmate, that doesn't matter at work. So I usually call her the owner. The part-time job? Mom, do you work at a convenience store? And what do you mean by Olivia being the owner? Exactly. I told you a while back that I started working. All the kids have grown up and I was bored being a housewife. So I asked your dad and he said I could work about four days a week. I know about that, but I didn't know you worked at a convenience store. I thought you worked at the supermarket or bakery. I never thought my own mother worked at a convenience store. I thought of working at supermarket and bakery in the beginning. But your father told me. It would suck working at a place with a lot of people my age. So he said it might be better to work at a place with younger people. So that's why you started working at a convenience store? Yes, the convenience store nearby I was just looking for a part-time job, but I never saw the owner would be your classmate. And she also owns a couple of franchises. The head praises her a lot as well. What are you talking about? Rumor says she's making roughly about $10 million per year, but she doesn't brag about her and becomes arrogant but tries very hard to make a comfortable workspace. That's why I'm able to work while enjoying it. What the actual fuck? 
there were a lot of high school and college students there. And some people are aspiring me to be actors and comedians. It's amazing being able to interact with people I don't really wouldn't be able to. And on breaks, they show me how to use the different apps on the smartphone. Wow, it seems like you're having a great time there. Everyone of all ages and little kids practice their first shopping at the store as well. It's very fun and rewarding. But you're looking down at us. Some customers look down on part timers, but I never thought that would be my own daughter. Well, anyways, I'm going home. I knew I was going to cry on my daughter's wedding day. So I brought a handkerchief and bath towel. I never thought it would come in handy now. Now Olivia will be able to take a cab. You're going home? Are you serious? Of course I am. Because that's what you told Olivia, right? You told her that people who work at convenience stores should go home. I was just joking. I never thought you would go home as well. Don't joke around with me. I can't have a wedding without my parents. Yes, I've never seen a wedding like that as well. Maybe you should cancel the wedding. What are you talking about? You should talk with Jack. No, I can't cancel. Everyone's here to celebrate. What are you talking about, Jack? Actually, Jack's here with me right now. Jack's there too? When I went over to help Olivia, Jack came over to her and he saw what you did. And Jack also said, Owner, are you okay? I was so surprised as well. What do you mean? Why is Jack calling Olivia the owner? Anyways, I'm going home with Olivia now. I don't care what you do with the wedding. Don't tell me this is happening! Jax? I can't believe Jack works at your convenience store. It's a joke, right? You're not Jack's boss, right? Jack works in a different branch from Lily. We're in similar in age and he's very easy to talk to. And he does an amazing job. But I never thought he was your groom. No way! So what Jack is saying is true? You were going to marry him, but he didn't know his job? Why would I know? I believe him! He graduated a prestigious college and works in an amazing huge company. And he's the most successful in that company. That's why I decided to marry him. But he just works part-time at a convenience store? I was never informed that he has been laid off. Calm down. Didn't he tell you anything else? The layoff was for a very stupid reason. And he's still talking it over with the company. So he said he wants to resolve that problem and go back to his old company. That's what he told me when I interviewed him. So what? Whatever the reason is, he was laid off. And he was going to marry me hiding the fact that he worked at a convenience store. That's true, but... Why would I marry a man like that? I'm not going to marry him. We're going to call off the wedding and engagement. You're going to cancel the wedding? Of course I will. I can't be in store staff. And mom went home. I don't want to have a wedding where I can't brag about my friends. So we're going to cancel the wedding. I don't think you have to marry someone to brag about it. Shut up! Stop looking down at me because you make a little money. Don't boss me around because you are my mom's boss. I'm not doing any of that. I guess there's nothing I can say to you right now. Just cancel the wedding or do whatever you want. And please break off the engagement with Jack. What's with your attitude? It sucks since you invited your whole classmate to the wedding. I'm sure everyone was excited. But now it's canceled. And your mother went home. How are you going to tell everyone that you're canceling the wedding? You're enjoying the situation, aren't you? I bet you think I deserve it. You have to keep this a secret from everybody. I can't let people know that the groom was a convenience store staff. Don't tell anyone from the class. What should I do? We weren't closed anyways. 
What? Anyways, good luck with calling off the engagement. Goodbye. Excuse me. Emma told everyone that the wedding is cancelled because her mom passed out. She tried to go with that reason. After the engagement was called, after I came to work. He said it was his fault since he was hiding it from her. He seemed quite upset. But after that a few days, he got a call back that he was going to start working at his former company. He was laid off because of an annoying boss who didn't want him coming out his position. So that was resolved and he went back. And he prepared an amazing position for him as an apology as well. That's what they told him. After hearing about that, Emma went to go talk to Jack. But he kicked her out. The classmates also started to figure out the reason why their engagement was called off. Emma is apologizing to her mother, but her mother is ignoring her at all costs. What's wrong with you, sis? I went out of my way to send you an invite to my wedding! I can't believe that you're not going to come! What's your problem? That's what I should be asking you! Are you serious? I couldn't believe that you even bothered to send me an invitation. What in the world makes you think that I would want to go? You guys both betrayed me. I don't even want to see either of your faces again. Oh, I get it now. You still have feelings for Mark, don't you? Of course not. It makes me angry just hearing his name. I can't believe you still have feelings for him. It's been two years already. Time to move on, sis. I know that he has his own company and is a great person to be with, but you can't just stay attached forever. It was your fault that you didn't end up marrying him. I guess you're struggling to find another man because of how unattractive you are. Maybe that's why you just can't forget about him. I'm telling you, it's nothing like that. Unfortunately for you, Mark is marrying me. There's no way I'm going to give him back to you. Don't worry about it. I don't even want him back. Especially after he's been with you. What did you just say? Even if you begged me to take him back, I wouldn't want him. Not even if he was the last guy in the world. You don't need to worry about me ever going after him. Go and get married with him, but please leave me out of it. Hey, sis! Is it true what mom told me? You're going to come to the wedding after all? Why did you decide to turn up? You should be thankful that I reserved a seat for you just in case you turned up. I'm surprised that you actually decided to come, though. I can't stop smiling. You seemed so adamant in not coming before. I'm actually not here because of the invite you sent me. What are you talking about? Why are you here then? Oh, did Mark send you a wedding invite as well? I'm so happy he went the extra mile to get you to come. He really is an amazing man. What a great surprise. That's not what happened either. You must really still have feelings for Mark if you're here because he invited you himself. I'm only here because of something related to work. I don't really want to be here. You really don't have to make up excuses like that. I know why you're really here. Well, I'm glad everyone started to turn up now. Thank you so much for coming to my wedding, sis. It's really made my day. I'll make sure to show you just how happy me and Mark are together. I just can't wait to see your ugly face afterward. I'm the winner! What is wrong with you? What was that all about? Are you crazy? Why did you have to do such an embarrassing thing at my wedding? I can't believe that you have no morals on top of being so ugly. What are you talking about? You were sitting next to Trent Price throughout the entire wedding. Do you know who he is? He's a very important person. Someone like you should not be anywhere near him. Oh, Trent? Yeah, I was sitting next to him. 
What is the problem with that? I don't think I did anything that's embarrassing. Mr. Price is the CEO of one of the companies that does business with Mark's company. Yeah, I know about that. You knew about that and still decided to sit next to him? I can't believe you! I still don't see what's wrong about it. Why do you care so much anyway? I guess you're trying to find a man that's richer than Mark to try and make me jealous or something. You're just a gold digger. Unfortunately for you, that plan is not going to work. Mr. Price just got married last month. I can't believe that you're so desperate that you would go after someone else's husband. I would never do such a thing. Why would you even suggest that? Stop trying to act like you're so innocent. I guess ugly people like you really have to try so hard to get into a relationship. Please try to have some morals, though. Going after married men is just way too desperate. I'm not doing anything like that. Please stop making assumptions about me. Also, I got married recently, so there's no need for me to look for a partner anymore. What are you talking about? I know that you're lying, you loser. It's really sad. You're just embarrassing yourself. Please stop making yourself look even more miserable. If you don't believe me, then why don't you try asking Mark about it? Why would I do that? Mark was the one that invited Trent in the first place. He made a big deal of inviting him, so Trent felt like he couldn't really refuse. I don't know if Mark realized I was his wife when he invited him, though. <laughs> I did ask Trent to explain it to him, though, so you guys wouldn't be so surprised. We were both worried it would be a little awkward for you guys since I used to be engaged to Mark and everything. Mark said it was fine, though. I guess you never got the memo. What did you just say? You're his new wife? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Who else did you think it was if not me? The old lady sitting on the other side of him? <laughs> How was I supposed to know about it? Why would I ever imagine someone like you would manage to get married to someone like Mr. Price? Well, I guess this is the first time I've attended a business-related event with him. We had our wedding abroad and only invited a very few close friends and relatives. Why haven't I heard anything about this at all? I had cut ties with both you and our parents after what happened with Mark two years ago. I still can't believe our parents were on your side after you stole Mark from me. I wasn't planning on letting you know at all, but it really couldn't be helped since Trent felt obligated to attend the wedding. I can't believe that any of this is really happening. I heard that Mark was really surprised too. When Trent first brought it up, I guess Mark thought that it was just someone else with the same name as me. Apparently, Mark got really agitated once he realized it really was me. I guess he couldn't say no to me coming to the wedding, as he was the one who invited my husband. I still can't believe this. This isn't fair at all! Mr. Price is one of the most respected guys in the industry, and on top of all that, he is really handsome. His company is much bigger than Mark's company. In fact, it's not even close! I was really jealous of the woman when I first heard that he got married. Why does his wife have to be you of all people? Why is it my ugly sister that gets to be with him? It's just not fair at all. There's no way that you should ever be happier than me. It's not possible. Kate, that's enough complaining. You just had your wedding today. You're married now, so stop carrying on like a little brat and enjoy yourself. I am not being a brat. How dare you? You know what? I just thought of a great idea. If Mr. Price is willing to get married to someone as ugly as you, then maybe I still have a chance with him too. I'm much more attractive than you, so it shouldn't be too difficult to get his attention. What did you just say? Are you crazy? It's a great idea. I can start flirting with him right away. I'm going to go and tell Mark that I'm getting married to Mr. Price instead. I'll go tell him right now. You can't be serious. You really need to stop and think this through before you do anything too stupid. Why didn't it work? How could he resist my charms? Something's wrong for sure. 
It was so easy when I took Mark from you. He fell for me so quickly. I'm definitely the more attractive woman between the two of us. You really are such an idiot. You know that people like Mark are very rare. Most people don't cheat on their fiancé when they're engaged. Most men actually have some morals, you know. They don't just go sleeping around with anyone when they're in a relationship. But it's me that we're talking about. There must be something wrong if he's saying no to me. A beautiful woman like me is offering to marry him. Have you still not noticed? What are you talking about this time? Do you not know who Mr. Price is? Of course I know who he is. He's the CEO of one of Mark's business partners. That's not what I'm talking about. I guess he looks very different recently because he wears contacts now instead of glasses. He also lost a lot of weight and cleaned up his appearance. What are you saying? Are you trying to tell me that Mr. Price is someone that I should recognize from the past? That's exactly what I'm saying. Stop being so secretive and just tell me who it is then. His last name actually used to be Green. Green? He used to be Trent Green. His last name changed after his parents divorced. It was super messy and he decided he wanted to take his mother's last name. That's why his current name is Trent Price. The guy that you keep calling Mr. Price is actually Trent Green. Trent Green? That nerdy kid with glasses? You shouldn't be calling him names like that, but yeah, he's the one. Your precious Mr. Price is the guy that you bullied and called names throughout high school. That can't be true. Trent said that you and your friends really treated him badly back in high school. He knows how terrible of a person you are really deep down. You had already lost any chance you had at ever being with him way back then. No matter how much you flirt with him now, it's not going to make a difference. He said he'll never forget the way that you treated him back then. I can't believe this. Okay, fine. I don't care anymore. I'll let you have him this time. Just don't think that you've beaten me because of this. I'm going to find an even richer guy than Trent to get married to. I'm going to make you so jealous of me. Stop being like that. Why don't we sort out what's really happening right now? What do you mean? There's nothing to sort out? What was all that drama about yesterday then? You ruined your whole wedding after the ceremony was already finished and I heard there's no way Mark is going to submit the wedding papers. I'd call that a pretty certified disaster for you. Well, all of that is your fault. None of it is my responsibility. If you had never got engaged to either of them, then none of this would have happened in the first place. Do you really think that? You're not that stupid, are you? What are you suggesting? You do know that everything that happened is all your fault, right? The reason why your marriage collapsed before it even started was because you were flirting with other men on the day of your wedding. That was your choice. No one else's. If you really don't think it's your fault, then you have a lot of thinking to do. I've got to get going now. Goodbye. Hey! The fees for the wedding and reception and stuff added up to around $100,000. When do you think that you can pay it all by? Why would I help you pay for anything? Are you out of your mind? Because everything that happened was your fault. It's kind of obvious that the person who caused the trouble should be paying for it. I'll tell you the details on who to give the money to later. Make sure you pay it all as soon as you can. You really are something. Are you seriously trying to weasel out of the responsibility? You should think about what you've done and apologize as soon as you can. Why do I have to be the one to apologize? You are invoiced for the $100,000, not me. There's a reason for that. It's because you are the one responsible for all this. No, I'm not! Stop blaming me! You're such an idiot. I remember you were acting like this two years ago when you stole Mark from me. You told me it was my fault that I lost Mark because I was too ugly or something along those lines. 
Once I got a lawyer involved, none of your ridiculous excuses worked and you ended up having to pay me a settlement fee for breaking up my engagement. I think Mark paid the fees for you back then, right? Why are you bringing that up all of a sudden? I just brought it up to show you that you haven't learned anything from the mistakes you've made in the past. What did you just say to me? Are you suggesting that I'm stupid or something? Yes! Finally, we have a breakthrough! You have to take responsibility when you do immoral things like ruining a wedding. What happened at the wedding yesterday was your fault and you are responsible for paying all the fees associated. You really need to start realizing how unacceptable your behavior is. None of what you're saying to me makes any sense! A girl as beautiful as me can get away with doing anything! That's how it's been all my life! Are you sure you're going to be able to say the same thing in front of a lawyer? Could you make up that excuse again if the police come to arrest you? If they take you to court, could you say the same thing to the judge? What? I'm in that much trouble? In our society, it's normal to apologize to someone if you do something wrong. If what you did is bad enough and an apology cannot solve the situation, then things are escalated. This is where money can get involved to try to repair the damage is done. Worst case, it can involve prison time or lawsuits for the one that caused the trouble. Right now, you're being asked for money to make up for the wedding you ruined and the engagement that was broken. These things are your responsibility, and you have to own up to them eventually. What have I done? Two years ago, Mark helped you out by paying me the settlement fees for breaking up my engagement, but he won't help you this time. I doubt that our parents are able to afford anything close to $100,000. This time, you're going to be all by yourself. They've saved you many times in the past before, but you've crossed a line this time. Well, that's why I'm talking to you. Do you still not understand? You caused trouble to my husband in the past by bullying him and calling him names. Two years ago, you ruined my life by stealing my fiancé from me and ending my engagement. Do you really need me to tell you that I'm not going to be helping you out? Just how dense are you? I absolutely hate you. You deserve everything that you get. Well, what am I supposed to do then? You're not being helpful at all. How in the world am I meant to pay $100,000? That's way too much money. Looks like you're just going to have to work and earn the money. I'm going to have to work for it? You kept on saying that you're never going to work because you're so beautiful and that you can just get married to a rich guy for money. You're halfway through your 20s and you still haven't had a single job. Maybe it's time you faced reality. No matter how much you beg, no one is going to save you this time round. It's time to admit that you were wrong and start looking for a job. That's the only option that you have left, Kate. You're telling me that I have to find a job? That can't be true. I don't want to have to work. I thought my plan of marrying someone rich would work. I think your plan isn't going to work after what you've done. Give up with your stupid ideas and start working like everyone else. Why are you being so mean to me? You should be thanking me for telling you the truth. There's nothing left for me to say to you, and I've got to go anyway. Goodbye, Kate. I have to find a job? How do I do that? I've never worked or even tried to look for a job before. So many things happened in the following months after that day. First, Mark started to follow me around everywhere like a stalker. Trent found out about it and managed to get Mark fired after talking to Mark's boss about it. Word got around about what Kate had done, and those rumors had spread all the way to my father's workplace. My father couldn't stand it and ended up quitting his job. My parents tried to fix their relationship with me, but I refused, of course. I knew they only came to me for money. My father found a new part-time job, but it's not very well paid. Now on to Kate. My parents had finally had enough of her and cut her out of their lives. After wandering around for a while not knowing what to do, she ended up borrowing a large sum of money to pay Mark. 
Now she is working a job that she can't really say in public to try and pay back her debt. It was quite depressing to read the text that she would send me boasting about how much she earned selling her body. Trent recommended me to just ignore the messages and block her, so I took his advice. <laughs>